Hey guys, it's Kelsey Hidalgo, Realtor with eXp Realty. I'm pretty far away from home. I'm up all the way in the northwest part of Las Vegas. We're here at Kyle Canyon, and we're gonna take a look at KB Homes. Now what's great about this community is they got an updated exterior style of the home. We'll go ahead and check that out later, but they got five model homes we're gonna check out today. This is a really nice area it's very quiet it's so far away from the strip if that's exactly what you want this is a perfect home for you guys all right guys let's go ahead let's check it out The Talos community is located at the very corner on the northwest part of Las Vegas. The closest grocery store to the Talos community is Smith's, which is around five minutes away. The distance from Harry Reid Airport from the community is around 33 minutes. The distance from the community to the strip is around 30 minutes. Hey guys, we're gonna take a look at the first model today. It's the 2469 plan, okay? And 2469, that's the exact square footage of the home itself, not the lot, okay guys? So I know that you've probably seen the 2469 plan on the other KB homes, but this one is a more updated modern style exterior. If you guys can look at the elevation and take a look at it. much more updated guys all right guys let's go ahead let's take a look at it i'm gonna flip this camera right around all right see the outside real quick so as you can see you get your pavered front uh, entryway and you get your pavered driveway as well so entrance to the door is all pavered okay nice And I know to walk in. All right. I don't know. I've been to so many homes. I can't remember exactly what the 2469 model looked uh, back in the southwest area. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys this one. So immediately over here to the right, this is the garage. Again, we can't enter the garage because it's locked. Immediately to your left, you got your coat hanger closet over here, guys. Typical coat hanger closet. Okay. All right. And as we walk in, we're going to take it. All right. So immediately here to the right side, you have the public restroom over here. So you got your... Well, not public restroom, but your power room over here. One toilet, one sink. Okay, typical powder room size. All right. And I believe this is where, so this space over here is different. So this is the office of the agents over here at KB Homes, here at the uh land at the landings at talus here in kyle canyon okay so i'm not going to enter that area right now okay but typically that leads uh to a i mean i'm not sure what it's supposed to be exactly but i know down there on that side it will would be the garage okay all right so we're unable to enter that way okay so as we walk in i love the open floor plan really nice okay as you can see this countertop over here is a bit extended okay should be a little bit smaller than that like a typical a typical island size over here guys 
but this one is a little bit extended and it does come with a quartz countertop if i'm not mistaken so quartz countertop throughout the whole house okay quartz countertops here in the kitchen quartz inside the quartz in the restroom as well okay so you got nine foot ceilings over here so that is an upgrade guys remember it does come typically with eight foot ceilings but if you want that nine foot ceilings and you want that upgrade you can upgrade to that okay guys so it do, only comes with your standard appliances doesn't come with your washer dryer and your refrigerator but other than that it comes typically with the whirlpool microwave and the whirlpool burner burner and oven okay let's see so the this these are uh, 42 inch cabinets these ones come with it's supposed to be a, a brown color okay like a maple brown color okay maple finish color so this is an upgraded cabinet guys all right so this is our pantry closet guys so for example if you guys wanted all the upgrades we're looking about 10 percent of the purchase price guys all right Okay, you got your multifunctioning room, you got dining room area over here, and you got your living room. Okay, nice space. So guys, let's head over to the backyard area. Again, I just wanted to note that this one is an eight foot uh, sliding door. It's supposed to come standard with the six foot sliding door with the eight foot ceilings. Okay guys, just letting you know that and so the backyard doesn't come landscaped, okay? So it's gonna be just pure dirt. You can just do a simple desert landscaping. I know one of my uh, subscribers had asked me that question. Can I just do a simple desert landscaping? Yes, you can, okay? Doesn't have to be fancy like this, but you have up to a year to landscape your backyard, okay? HOA will require that, okay? I'll post all that information requiring, uh, regarding the HOA fees um, what are the, and all the amenities and all that, that that are included here, okay? All right, so as you can see, um, also wanted to point out on the flooring, typically comes with 17 by 17 ceramic tile. This one is um, luxury vinyl planking they have in here, okay guys, but that is an upgrade, just letting you guys know that. All right, let's make our way up the stairs. So remember all wet areas, we're talking about the laundry room, kitchen area, comes with uh, ceramic tile. Everything else comes with carpet, okay? All right, so in the second floor, you can't change the ceiling height. It's always gonna be a standard eight foot on the second floor here. So as you can see in the typical KB home fashion, they have that loft area. Love lofts, you know, it's a nice area to relax. You know, if you don't want to walk all the way downstairs and turn that into a, a kid's playroom as well. A little play place for the kids if you have children. Um, could be a little man cave as well. Yeah, this is what it looks like over here, okay guys? So before we hit the primary owner suite over here, we're gonna take a look at the other side of the house, okay? Always wanna point out the transfer grills over there. I know I point that out in all the videos, but you know, it does get hot here in Las Vegas. It's good to have those transfer grills when the doors close and it, it'll it make sure that the air does flow throughout the room when the air conditioning is on, okay? And your doors are closed, all right? All right, so this is the first room. Pretty Pretty big size here. You can see. Okay. All right. Got your walk in closet, actually. You can actually walk into this closet. Okay. It's not, not too much room, but you can definitely walk into the closet. It's not a reach in closet. Okay. Now, typically, the fans come in the primary, uh, the primary, the owner suite. 
and then the living room okay guys that's typically where the fans are usually and if you want to have for example if you want it in each room it'll, you'll have to get it pre-wired for that all right okay now when we walk into the second bedroom we got our see this is a reach-in closet here okay got that sliding closet door okay so this one's much smaller in size compared to the other, to the last room guys okay and right across from here we got our complete bathroom okay got two sinks over here got your one toilet and your typical tub shower combo over here with the fiberglass surround okay so you guys know that this is what the shower head looks like okay all right come to our third bedroom over here i'll do a quick 360 of it yeah really nice i really like the the modern style windows the little three square windows or rectangle windows over there really good way to you know let some light into the room okay you got your walk-in closet here okay so if you can turn on the light yep pretty pretty good size closet over here okay and i wanted to let you guys know so the base price there's two different elevations but the base price right now without the upgrades 441 thousand nine hundred ninety so i'm going to give all of that at the end i want you guys to kind of experience you know exactly how it feels to kind of walk to this home i don't want you guys to be turned off by the price i want you guys to kind of experience it for yourself because if you guys are looking to buy the home your dream home you definitely just want to fall in love with the home but you also of course price is important but you don't want to have any bias when you when you start you know looking at it okay Maybe you might entertain a much more higher end home or a lower uh, priced home, right? Okay, so this is the owner's suite over here. Okay, very nice, as you can see. So let's go walk in. All right. So let's head to the bathroom first. So immediately to our right, like I said, all wet floor areas, bathrooms, laundry room area, kitchen ha is gonna have that ceramic tile. In this case, they have that upgrade uh, LVP, okay? So as soon as we walk in, we got our walk-in shower. So I know standard, it comes with a tub shower combo, okay? That's standard, all right? Okay, we got our enclosed toilet over here it's pretty roomy in here pretty roomy good all right and right across from the bathroom we got our walk-in closet guys okay really big really large walk-in closet over here you got some shelving too all right nice okay and that's it for the 2469 model guys we got four more to go so drink some soda relax eat some popcorn try to stay awake oh when we forgot this area over here so we got our linen closet over here right next to the laundry room over here okay all right so we're gonna head to our second model
Okay guys, we're here at our second model. We're here at the 2069 model. Now this one is another upgraded. I've never been to a 2069 model, so this is the first time that I'm gonna be posting it on my channel. And um, so this one is a two-story, three to four bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage, guys. Okay, so again, with the, with the model, with the plan name 2069, that's exactly how much square footage uh, is the home itself, not the lot, okay guys? All right, let's go ahead, let's take a look at this home, okay? Okay, as you can see, got, again, I'm just gonna repeat some of the things, sorry. It's gonna be having the paver driveway and the pavered entrance to the door, okay? To the entrance door, all right? So, again, let's take a look at this, the exterior of this home, all right? Beautiful. It's got that modern look, okay? That luxury style look. Okay. Just going into this, I know it's upgraded because we're looking at a, is this a eight foot door? Yeah. Again, when we walk into the 2069 model. So the entryway is always gonna have, a, you know, that ceramic tile. Um, typically 17 by 17 ceramic tile. This one is upgraded with a, a LVP with a luxury vinyl planking over here. Okay, and also got, this one has upgraded uh, doorknobs and door handles, okay? Typically it comes with that silver finish, not this black finish, okay? But this, oh, this is the garage. We're unable to enter the garage, as you can see. It says garage. So before we hit the second floor here to our left, let's take a look at the multi-functioning room over here, the living room, the kitchen, the dining room area, guys. Okay, give you a quick look, nice spin. We go left and we're gonna go right again, okay guys? Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at it. So like I said, the wet floor areas is gonna have that ceramic tile um, but this one, see, for example, this living room area, it's supposed to be carpeted, okay? So this is an upgrade, okay? I, I'm not just talking about the flooring as an upgrade, but also it's extending into the living room floor, the living room area, okay? That's supposed to be carpeted, all right? All right, again, we're looking at nine foot ceilings. That's an upgrade. All right, let's make our way into this area. Hey guys, does the appliances in this community come come with it or not? I'm, and I'm for, in terms of appliances, I'm talking about the refrigerator, washer and dryer. No, it doesn't. Good job, guys. I know you're listening. All right. And so again, these cabinets are upgraded. As you can tell, like I said, there's supposed to be that maple brown finish. This is white. Also, that, those handles are upgraded as well. Okay. The design studio, when you when you guys want to purchase this home and you want to customize it the way you want to, they can give you the exact pricing. You know, typically it's around 10% of the total price. Okay, guys? All right. What else are we going to look at? Okay, we're heading down this way. Oh, okay. Big walk-in pantry closet over here. As you can see that. Okay. All right. Oop. Okay, and we got our dining room area. Okay. Head down here, we got our powder room. So down here, let's see our powder room. Okay. Okay, got our powder room area. Toilet. Got your sink. All right. You got your linen closet. Some storage space before you get to the bathroom. And you got some more coat hanger closet space here as well. I mean, I understand that being near the garage, but I mean, I guess if you want extra hanger or coat hanger closet space, that's, that's cool. Okay, 
Let's go look at the backyard. Okay, so if when we look at the backyard, okay, remember, you get a year to landscape it. It's gonna be complete dirt. You can do something completely simple, just a quick desert landscaping, some, some rocks and a little bit of plants, and that's it. Not, nothing too fancy, guys. Okay. All right. So this is what I was talking about. So on the first, on the first model that we looked at, the 2469, you can tell that the countertop was much was extended. So that was an upgrade. As you can see, this is kind of like typically what the standard size for the for the uh, island countertop should be. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, let's head up to the second floor. Moving into carpet territory. All right. Again, typical KB fashion, always has the loft, which I love. Really nice loft area. Could be your man cave, relaxing spot. Um, just your home retreat space. Could be an office as well. Could be your kid's play place, playroom. Get imaginative, guys. Just think, like, what can it be for you guys? Everyone's different. Let's head down this way first, okay, guys? Down this hallway. Okay. So we got three bedrooms here. Let's go look at the bathroom first. So you got your first complete bathroom. Okay, tub shower combo with the fiberglass. Okay, like I said, there's an upgrade on that color. It's not supposed to be black. It's supposed to be like a silver finish. Just gives that that clean, elegant, luxury look, you know, with that black. You got your transfer grills, guys. Okay, go over here. Got our, we're gonna walk into our first bedroom. I'll take a quick 360 look. Nice. Okay. 360 look. We go into the second bedroom. Oh, that one has a reach-in closet too. Yeah, okay. Got your quick look on this one. So this one's actually a walk-in closet. Okay, it's even got a little window in here too. Okay. All right, and then our third bedroom over here. Nice big window, wow. Okay, your third bedroom. Okay, it's got a reach-in closet as well. All right. You know, you can't really see the rooms from the loft area, so it's kind of tucked in into a different hallway, as you can see, guys. All right, so you gotta walk. So there is some privacy there, right? That's good, maybe um, you can't hear what your kids are doing, you know, when they're tucked away, when they got that wall there. Okay, this is our laundry room area. Okay, that's an upgrade, that design over there. And that's something you can design in the design studio at KB Homes. Again, washer dryer does not come with it. Okay, you got your linen closet over here. Okay. All right. Now on to your guys's your guys's room, okay? The owner's suite, the primary owner's suite, okay? I'm gonna go to this corner real quick so you guys can get a really good 360 view of this room. Okay, good. Okay, back around. Good. Okay. Again, upgraded with the, the flooring over here. That's an upgrade. Okay. All right, we got our walk-in shower here immediately to our left. We got our separated tub over here. Got our two sinks over here. So I know typically it comes with the tub shower combo, guys. Okay, with that fiberglass. So this is an upgrade. All right, and then we got our enclosed toilet. Last but not least, we got 
the walk-in closet. Okay. Yeah, really good, decent space here. Really nice. Good. Okay. Yeah, I love the window here. It kind of brings light into the bathroom. Give it gives it some uh, some good tone. You know, brings some light into the room. Lighting, light, lighting, and lightening up the room. Sorry, fumbling my words. Okay, and that's it for the 2069 model, guys. All right. Like I said, at the end of every. Uh, tour of these homes i'm going to post the hoa the total price i just want you guys to fall in love with the with the home itself and you know i i understand that you know price does play a factor in it but um i want you to also not have any bias when you're looking at these homes okay all right guys on to the next Right, guys I'm here at the third model home over here and then we're gonna take a look at two more models after this we're at the 1569 model so this one is a two-story three bedroom two and a half bath two car garage guys okay so and also 1590 did I say 1590 I, I believe so so 1590 so that's how much square footage of the house uh, 1590 okay not the lot it so let's go ahead let's take a look at this home I'm excited to see it it's got that nice all right, as you can see guys, it's got that beautiful updated modern exterior elevation look. Again, so every home that we looked at, there's two different styles of elevation. So to give the neighborhood some mix, okay? So I want you to know that for these total homes, there's gonna be uh, five total, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. For these total models, you're gonna have about uh, 231 homes being built in this community in Kyle Canyon. And there are already 115 models or 115 lots that are sold already, guys. Okay. All right. Going to the 1590 plan over here, guys. All right. So this one has that typical eight foot ceiling, guys. This is what I'm talking about. This is the standard right here, eight foot ceiling. So immediately to our right, our powder room. Okay. Okay, one toilet, one sink. Okay, and also this is the, this is the standard uh, flooring that they have on the wet areas, kitchen. Okay, guys, that's the 17 by 17 ceramic tile. Okay, all right. All right, so this is the living room area, the multifunctioning area. So you got your living room, your dining room, and your kitchen, okay? So they got a U-shaped U kitchen over here, which means the shape, uh, you know, the island comes around and the countertops and it kind of, makes a U as you can see guys. All right, so this is what I'm talking about guys. This is the standard. I, I'm glad they made this third model home to kind of show you exactly what a standard home looks like. So it's got the 36 inch cabinets right here, which is standard, not the 42. It's got that maple finish too. Doesn't have any door handles or anything like that. That's an upgrade. Okay, so that's exactly what it looks like. I'm glad they did that. Okay, and Again, guys, it doesn't come with the refrigerator, washer, and dryer, okay, guys? So this is the garage area, and I'm betting there it's locked. Yep. So next to the garage area, we got a little pantry room, okay? It's pretty, pretty big. It's a walk-in pantry room, okay? Got your washer. So that comes with a washer, burner, oven, and your microwave, guys. Okay. With the dining room space. Okay. Oh, this is a much larger backyard. 
Now I know there's different lots, lot premiums, you know, they can run from 10,000 all the way up. Okay, yeah, so I don't wanna give you guys any de definite, the estimate is around $10,000 for a standard lot. Um, this one definitely is much larger, so if it's a corner lot, it's gonna be much more expensive. Okay, and we're looking at the backyard. So this is all dirt, guys. You got one year, HOA is gonna complain, so make sure you get it landscaped. You don't, you don't need anything fancy. You can just do a typical desert landscaping, some rocks and plants, and that's it. And then when you guys have enough money and you want to, you know, maybe put some uh, artificial grass, then yeah, you guys can do that as well. That can be, but just, you have that first year. Okay, I don't think I, Looked at the coat hanger closet over here. Okay. All right, so we're going to hit the second floor. I wonder if this, you know, since it's significantly about 500, 400 square feet smaller than the other homes, other, other model homes, I wonder if they have a loft area. Curious. Okay. I wouldn't really call it, well, it's like a mini loft. Okay, let's call it moft. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. It's just a little, a little area over here. I wouldn't really call it a loft though, okay? I'm going to have to find the exact word for what this is called. If you guys know in the comments, let me know, guys. Throw some education this way. I really appreciate it. Okay, so over here, we got our transfer grill. Okay. And we're gonna go over here before we go to the primary owner suite, okay? So, first bedroom over here. Take a 360 look. Nice windows, okay? Like I, like I said, I like it when they lighten up the room. Me, I'm a sun guy, but in the morning, I'm more of a dark, a nighttime guy. So, <laughs> I really like when I have, you know, the blinds closed. All right. So you got your walk-in closet here. Oh, I didn't think they'd have a walk-in closet. Okay. They do. Okay. Got a walk-in closet in the first bedroom. Okay. Okay. Looks like, yeah. Okay. And you got your linen closet over here. Okay. So again, I'm gonna take a look at this space. We're gonna do a little quick 360. Give you guys that cinematic shot, you know? Was that cinematic enough for you guys? I don't think so, right? I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. Right, you got your closet, your walk-in closet over here. You got your one sink. So this is standard. Um, I think an upgrade would be two sinks. See, I like this. I like how they point out the standards. It reminds me. It's like, okay, the guest bathroom only has one sink, but you can upgrade it to two, two sinks, okay? Again, the wet floor area has that ceramic tile. This is definitely standard. The tub shower combo over here, guys. The fiberglass. Okay. And right next to the bathroom, we have our laundry room, okay? Some overhead shelving over here. All right. Okay, and now we're off to your guys' room over here. All right. Okay, I'm gonna do that sweet shot again. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, so this is your two sinks. So I'm pretty sure in the primary owner suite they come with two sinks. It's just not the the other the other bathroom for the guest bathroom. I would say the guest bathroom. Okay, and yeah, this is your walk-in closet. So this is the standard. Like I was saying, remember I was saying all the other models had the walk-in uh, walk-in shower. This one is the tub shower combo. That is standard, guys, with the fiberglass. Okay. 
So that walk-in shower is an upgrade. See, I knew I remembered something. Okay, and here is your linen closet. Towels and linens. Okay, and your toilet. But this one's not enclosed. There's not a private, private door for that, okay? All right, and that's it for the 1569 model. Like I said, after, after the video tour, a quick tour of each home, of each model that we have here, I'm gonna post the price, HOA fee, um, anything else that you guys needed to know, the type of amenities, okay guys? And it's gonna be rolling with the, with the B-roll shots, okay guys? All right, thank you. <laughs>